my opinion of the medical establishment is that they were there to help people. That's, That's right. it. Yeah. I never questioned it. Joe Rogan had uh, Abigail Schreier on. And, uh, this is, was this just from a couple days ago, right? Yeah. So she's got a new book coming out and we actually interviewed her uh, last week. It's coming out this week. It's out right now, hot diggity dog. My God, worlds are colliding. Uh, Abigail Schreier uh, was on Joe Rogan and he was talking about how COVID is what woke him up. So you will see how this is connected to then people being like, hmm, maybe the government doesn't have my best interest. For COVID, I had a completely different opinion of the medical establishment. My opinion of the medical establishment is that they were there to help people. That's, That's right. it. I yeah. never questioned it. I questioned the motives of some of the pharmaceutical drug companies that were trying to sell drugs. But I felt like the medical establishment always figured that out eventually, and then they, they banned those drugs, the ones that were harmful. But that's not real. That's not really what happens. It's a money game. The whole thing's a money and influence game, and it's run by very powerful people. Well, the point there is that what they have forced to happen is that more and more people tune into Joe Rogan to just hear something basically true. Like what we now, what most of us, what I would, not most of us, what I would say most sane people now believe, which is that the CDC doesn't necessarily have your best interests at heart. The NIH doesn't best necessarily. Um, that the government and Chuck Schumer and Joe Biden don't necessarily have your best interests at heart. That they have all figured out ways to become super rich. Elizabeth Warren worth $60 million while she's a socialist. Bernie Sanders with three houses while he's a socialist. Do you think AOC who killed Amazon which was gonna bring, I think it was like 30,000 jobs to Long Island. And they were gonna open a factory there and she killed that deal. Did she have the best interests of the people there, the house prices that would have gone up, all the infrastructure that would have been brought in and fixed, all the people that would have got good paying jobs. But they lie about everything. Then they get media people like Seth Meyers and Jon Stewart to run cover and then everything slowly gets worse. 